This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hello everyone and welcome to the last Halloween special Dory Paint video this year! Yeah, it's very difficult to believe guys, it's been such a marathon for me. I've been planning to make in 5 Halloween special dolls in 6 weeks and you know, it looks like I'm going to succeed because there is just one doll left. And yeah, you could see it of course already from the thumbnail that this last doll is gonna be Wednesday Adams. And obviously I have Wednesday Adams on my list of dolls to make since the very beginning of my channel. Because she's such a special, such a legendary character. Of course I wanted to make Wednesday Adams since the very beginning. But you know the problem with Wednesday Adams is that she's a little bit too simple for a doll customizer. You know, there is no challenge for me in this project. Of course, I know that I can make a girl with dark hair, with huge dark eyes and a dark outfit. Like, of course, I know that I can make it. There is no challenge. It's not too difficult for me. But you know, this year I think I have finally found a way to make this project kind of interesting, complicated, challenging for me. And the answer is, is to make a Wednesday Adams doll out of a giant rainbow high doll. Here she is, hiding under my desk. Oops, she doesn't really fit. Yeah, let's sit like this. So this is such a big rainbow high doll. She's 60 centimeter or 24 inches tall. And I have already repainted one of these dolls a couple of months ago on my channel and it was indeed very interesting and very challenging. So I've got another of these dolls and today we're going to turn her into Wednesday Adams. So what are the actual challenges of this project? Well, first of all, this is her hair because this doll has a huge head with a lot of thick and long hair and you know, I simply don't have this amount of black doll hair here in my studio. And even if I go and buy this black hair, it will cost me probably 200 euro and then I will sit here for three weeks non-stop rerouting, you know, thank you guys. <laughs> I would really love to avoid both of these solutions, both of these situations. So that's why today we are going to experiment and we are going to dye her hair black. You know, I've never tried dyeing doll hair before, but I think it's gonna work. Why not? It's black. It's black dye for synthetic fibers. This is synthetic fibers and it's blue and yellow and green, so it's supposed to work, I think. I think black dye is gonna work here. So, and then the second challenge of this makeover is her eyes. If you know, guys, if you watched already some of my older Rainbow High Repaint videos, then you know it already, probably, that I always experiment with their eyes. I already tried making inserted eyes on my own, then I tried drilling holes in these existing eyes and sculpting their, like, irises and pupils and everything. And then I also tried simply paint this original eyes white and draw my own eyes on top of it. And actually the last solution gave the best result to me because the previous two I was really suffering with uh, resin like hell. I really called this video suffering with rainbow high because it was uh, a long struggle, really, a big struggle. So, and this time I'm going to experiment with her eyes again. I'm going to use this last described technique. I'm going to paint her eyes white and I'm going to paint her new eyes on top of it, on this white canvas. It worked really well on a regular size rainbow high doll. I've made my hurricane doll like this and she had really beautiful dark eyes. So I think it would look really cool on my Wednesday Adams as well. So this is it probably. Let's unbox, undress, like remove everything what this doll has on right now and then we'll start the big transformation. And you see now I'm really excited. Normally I would never be excited about making Wednesday Adams. And now I'm really excited because I'm really curious how it's all gonna go, how her hair dyeing would work, how these eyes would look on her. Yeah, now I feel really excited. So let's start the transformation. And of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is very important. So let's start.
So let's start with dyeing her hair because you know if it doesn't work the rest of the project will simply make no sense. I don't really know what type of material her hair is made of so I will use both of these dyes hoping that they will benefit each other and will not vice versa cancel each other's effect so let's see what will happen. I've brought this portable cooking plate to complete the entire dyeing process in my studio far from food and dishes and now we will boil water, add this dye to this water and then submerge the doll head into the pot. I've also applied a thick layer of Vaseline to her face close to her hairline hoping that it will stop staining the face. Also dyed her socks black, just why not, since the pot is hot and full of black dye. And you know what? I think it worked. I don't know, it looks really black, really beautiful, so I'm very happy. I wasn't really sure about the end result, but yes, guys, it worked. I have no idea which one of these two dyes really worked, but the result is absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy about it. So there is a little bit of staining very close to the hairline, but it's not critical at all. I can fix it easily with soft pastels. So I think it's time to remove her face with pure acetone, spray it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I'll draw a new face with huge dramatic eyes. These rainbow high eyes are inserted, but the eyes themselves are simply printed on paper, kind of laminated in a see-through plastic. So it's not really 3D eyes, it's kind of 2.5D eyes. So this doll will lose absolutely nothing if I paint my own eyes on top of these existing ones.
So this is her finished face. I will still add lashes and gloss a little bit later. And right now let's make a dress for her. I've bought this piece of beautiful black velvet, especially for this project, especially for this doll. So I think it will look super pretty. I just don't know where all this dust is coming from. You can see just on camera, I swear, there is none of it in reality. But actually there is another problem, a bigger problem, that I don't have any sewing patterns for this body type yet. This is like a new doll for me, so I will have to figure it out. Well, first of all, I can borrow a top pattern from this original hoodie. I think it's a good idea because it fits her really well. It's not too baggy, not too loose, not too long. So it will be a really nice fit for the dress top as well. And the skirt is pretty easy. So now let's cut all these parts out of this fabric and then I will connect them together. I want to make white cuffs out of this satin ribbon. And now let's also make a collar out of the same ribbon. So this is how it looks so far and now let's attach the skirt. And this is the finished dress. I'm not sure if you can see it very well because this doll is so big and my studio is really small but this is it and I think it's absolutely perfect like the fit, the length, everything in this dress is really screaming Wednesday Adams. I'm very happy. And I will complete this look with this black socks that I have dyed earlier. I really like her original shoes because the shape is really pretty, plus they're really strong, really heavy, very thick, and they're also very stable because of these wider heels. They really give a lot of stability to this big doll with a big and heavy head. So I will customize them to look more like something what Wednesday would wear. I have a couple of 3D printed skulls left here after making the dark Persephone doll last year and I will attach these skulls to the front part of the shoes. And I will paint it all with black and bronze acrylics. So here are the finished shoes and I think they go really perfectly with the look and they also remind us kind of about the skull that Wednesday had. 
Anne also want to make that iconic poison bottle in the mini format for her and you know the best what I could find here in my house was this sample of some oil. The size is perfect to fit the doll's hand and also like the color, the shape, everything is really perfect. I just need to remove the sticker and for this I will put this bottle in hot soapy water and I will let it there for an hour or so, maybe for two hours. So now the bottle is all clean and perfect, it still smells like some oils a little bit, but it's even nice, I think. So now let's attach this sticker to the bottle. Then I will make a cork for it out of a regular size cork. So now our bottle is finished and it looks absolutely adorable and very 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 realistic I think. So now I can braid her hair, attach false lashes and also gloss to her eyes and lips and then I will also paint her nails red because I think it's also an important touch. So and here is the finally the end result of my big experiment this week. I was absolutely not sure about it, but everything turned out even better than I expected, really. Her hair is very black and very beautiful, cannot be better. Her eyes are huge and dramatic and you know in general she gives very strong Wednesday Adams vibes and she's clearly up for no good, really. I've seen by the way the new trailer for this new Wednesday show on Netflix and I'm really excited about even more than I expected because I was really skeptical in the beginning about so like another remake but I think it will be a really cool show I'm really looking forward to it now really love the new Wednesday not sure about her father but let's see what it will be the trailer is really beyond promising have you seen it guys are you also excited and this was my last Halloween special video for this year. I think it was the best Halloween ever on my channel. I've created five dolls in six weeks. It was a very ambitious plan, but it all worked out very well. I'm super happy with all my dolls. It was a really fun period in my life. And I'm really curious to know which one of the five was your favorite. I will not show pictures of all of them together now to not spoil the fun for people who haven't watched it yet. But but if you have watched my other Halloween specials this year, please let me know which one was your favorite. So, and this doll is now available for sale on eBay. It will be a big box to ship, but let's do it. Maybe it's a perfect Christmas gift for someone. And I will also put these two doll hats, Ariel and Jasmine, back on sale. All the links you can find in the description box under this video, like always. So, please check it out if you are interested. And before I finish this week's episode, I want to thank our sponsor, Squarespace, a beautiful and powerful website building platform. I've mentioned it already that a couple of weeks ago I've started working on my own website using Squarespace. It was on my to-do list already for more than five years and I'm really impressed by how easy it is actually. It's how easy it is to make your own website. I'm already finishing all the main blocks of the website including my portfolio and I will be ready to publish it very soon I think. So I can really recommend Squarespace to everyone who is thinking about creating 
creating their online portfolio, venturing a new online business and creating a community. It's all very easy on the Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies and likes. Squarespace offers you really powerful and modern blogging tools to categorize, share and schedule your posts too. And you can also connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content. For example, I'm planning to organize doll classes using this members-only feature. You can manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights. All in one easy-to-use platform. And if this is still not enough, you can always extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. This new third party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax and ship items across the globe. So if you were thinking about creating your own website, you can try Squarespace completely for free. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash P-A-D-A-S, that stands for Papa Natalia Dollar Studio, to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this episode and this is it guys for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this transformation and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you very soon, probably in two weeks. I will probably take a couple of days a weekend after this Halloween specials marathon. But who knows, maybe I will be in the mood, so maybe I will upload next week, Friday. But anyway, I will see you in two weeks on Friday, so or so, 100%. Love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye!